blood glucose, and diabetes. Diabetes is a chronic disease which affects how your body uses blood glucose, commonly called blood sugar. Glucose enters the bloodstream after the digestion process when our stomach breaks down the food we eat to create fuel for our body. Glucose is carried throughout the body by the bloodstream in order to be... The level of glucose in our bloodstream is controlled mainly by an organ called the pancreas, which manufactures and releases a hormone, insulin. Insulin circulates in the body and works like a key by unlocking doors to allow cells... Over long periods, high levels of blood glucose can create an inflammation of the vascular system. Inflamed blood vessels can only react in a limited way. They can rupture and create internal bleeding. They can narrow and partially or totally... Ruptured blood vessels can cause internal bleeding. Since most diabetic patients also suffer from blood pressure, this combination can affect many parts of the body, including the eyes. Diabetic retinopathy. High blood pressure or hypertension is a common condition in which the force of the blood against the walls of the arteries is high enough that it may eventually wear out the arteries and overwork the heart. High blood pressure is called the silent killer because people often have no symptoms. The only way to determine if your blood pressure is too high is to have it... Understanding the bone. Bone is a living tissue. It is made mostly of collagen that provides a soft structure and calcium, a mineral that strengthens and hardens this structure. More than 99% of the body's calcium is contained in the bones and teeth. Since bones are alive, they grow and are depleted throughout your life. During childhood and teenage years, new bone is added faster than old bone is depleted. This bone remodeling process takes place until maximum bone density and strength is reached, around age 30. At that time, Osteoporosis is a disease in which the bones become weak and are more likely to break. People with osteoporosis most often break bones in the hip, spine, and wrist. There are three types of osteoporosis. At menopause, a decrease in... Complications from blood clots. When a blood clot forms inside the vein, it is called a thrombus. This is very serious as it can block the blood vessel. A blocked blood vessel restricts the flow of blood and oxygen to tissues served by that vessel. Over time, as the blood clot becomes bigger and restricts blood flow, the affected area will become very painful and eventually the tissue...